What's up everybody, Mike and Chris here, and today we are going to give you a special gift. We're gonna show you how to make our favorite sauce, chipotle aioli. Oh, I like how you said gift. It is a gift. It is a gift. This, I probably created this recipe maybe six, seven years ago. It's been a long time. It is always in our fridge. We always have a batch on hand, and it is by far one of the most popular recipes that I've ever created. So, if you haven't made it yet, we're gonna show you how easy it is and how delicious it is. You can use it as a sauce for meat, you can use it as salad dressing, you can put on anything. Veggies, starches, literally anything. Boom. So, huh, hashtag, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's make this, we'll show you how easy it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is chipotle aioli. Let's do it. Aioli, aioli, aioli. What is an aioli? How do you even spell it? A-I-O-L-I. Aioli. I'll write it right here. Aioli. See that? <laughs> little, little sound effect. What's an aioli? So what? Tell us. Aioli is basically mayo with a fedora on. Fancy. <laughs> mayo with a fedora on. It's like dancing. You know? I heard that for the very first time just now. I'm like, you definitely need to share that. Essentially, Someone it's a- Someone tagged me in a meme like that. It's a fancy mayo. Exactly. So if you were like me, or I think like you too, I did not like mayo. Hated it. Oh, it was disgusting. Gross. Like the big jar of it, it was like greasy and gross. But then I made my own mayo, and that was like the most delicious sauce ever. It really is. And not only is it delicious, but it's super good for you. Exactly. So. And so basically, chipotle aioli is a fancy mayo. So you take the base, which is the mayo, we'll show you those ingredients, and then you add to the spices. Make it amazing. You mix it up with an immersion blender. The hardest part about making this aioli is putting the ingredients together. Really. 100%. So it's really not that hard. It takes, literally, I'll do it at the very end of dinner. It takes like a minute start to finish. Everyone will thank you for it. Exactly. So, let's start off with the first ingredient, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Avocado oil, yes. Woo! So, would we want to use any other kind of oil? Why do we use avocado oil? Totally. So, avocado oil is my personal favorite just because it has a really, really light flavor, so it's not going to overpower any of the other ingredients. You want to use a light tasting olive oil. That is key. So, anything that says extra virgin, even extra virgin avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, is going to give the aioli a really, really bitter taste. We don't want that. I learned the hard way on this one. So that is why we go with our friends avocado oil. So that's what we're using today. Ain't nobody got time for bitter taste. That was gross, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we've got some lemon juice. Exactly. One egg. We're gonna make... We'll do one batch. One batch, yeah. okay. Usually we do doubles, but for video purposes, we're gonna show you how to make one batch. <laughs> yeah, double batch around here doesn't last very long. <laughs> Salt and mustard seed. Exactly. So those are the ingredients that it basically takes to make a regular mayo. Instead of the mustard seed powder, we are going to use this Dijon mustard. Same equal amount, but it just changes the flavor a little bit. It's really, really good in chipotle aioli. So we're gonna use that instead of mustard seed, but they're very interchangeable. Okay. So continuing on with the ingredients for the chipotle, I'm just, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? That is Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. There are, it's important to note that a lot of store-bought Cajun seasonings, I don't usually love the flavor of them, so I have my own recipe for it. Or they are really overly salty, and so if you are using a store-bought Cajun seasoning, you might want to just leave the added salt out altogether, mix it up as we will show you, and then you can always add salt back in. But ain't nobody got time for, for overly super salty. salted <laughs> aioli. So this is our Cajun seasoning. Okay, I'm going to guess this is chipotle chili pepper powder. Chipotle chili pepper powder. Chipotle chili pepper powder. <laughs> Try say to, that eight yeah, times. Say fast. that eight times super fast, right? <laughs> um, and garlic powder. Yeah. Okay, and then we're just going to mix this all into a container such as this. Exactly. Using our fancy schmancy immersion blender. Oh, yeah. You guys ever seen one of these? 
They're relatively inexpensive. Totally, you do not need a fancy one. Yeah, you don't need a fancy one. I had a fancy one and I didn't like it as much as this. I think this was $25. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got ours from Amazon, but you can find these pretty much everywhere. Totally. Um, why would we not want to make this aioli in a blender? So a regular blender, it's a real hit or miss when you're making an aioli because you have to have the egg, the lemon juice at room temperature, and you have to very, very slowly drizzle in the oil. One, I don't have the patience for that. I'm guessing you probably don't either. And two, it's just a hit or miss if it's going to actually emulsify or not. Sometimes it won't, and there's nothing more frustrating than that. You have to start over, so. So big That's tip. That's why we prefer the use, immersion blender. Use an immersion blender. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much foolproof. I have never had it fail me, so. And as you'll see in not too long, it takes like 15 seconds to mix it all up. Totally. So go team, immersion blender. Let's go. All right, let's mix this thing up. Okay. All right, you ready to mix? Absolutely. Let's make this mayo with a fedora on. Okay. You so first see up, this. we're gonna do avocado oil. We want two thirds cup. We got one egg. This is a pasture raised egg. One teaspoon of lemon juice. Get in there. Get in there. We got three quarter teaspoon of salt. Boom. Which of course you can adjust to your liking. Then we've got our mustard right here. Get that mustard in there. It's in there. Garlic powder, we've got a teaspoon. Get in there, garlic powder. And then the fedora part. We are doing a teaspoon each of Cajun seasoning and chipotle chili pepper powder. Chipotle chili pepper powder. Chipotle chili pepper powder. Get in there. Whee! Oh yeah. Okay. And again, you can adjust those to your liking. If you are not a fan of spice at all, you can go really light on the chipotle powder, add a little bit more Cajun seasoning. Just do it however Just you Just be want. creative. Exactly, get creative it with it. Yeah. So now all we have to do is mix it up. Babe, you wanna mix it up for me? Uh, yes, I think I can handle that. Go over here. <laughs> all right. Okay, we've got all of our ingredients. Oh yeah. In here. Oh yeah. What do you even call this thing? A mixing? That's a Pyrex measuring cup. <laughs> <laughs> Very technical term. Okay. We have all of our ingredients into our Pyrex measuring cup. <laughs> so, that was the hardest part, putting everything in there. Totally. So babe, what do we do from here? All right, my love, so now, you're gonna put the immersion blender into the Pyrex measuring cup. Put it at the bottom, try to put it right over the yolk, and then you're just gonna turn it on. Okay, so... You're we'll... basically an AOE master at this point. So, first things first, please, for the love of God, unplug it. Yeah, just unplug it. All right, and then what we like to do generally, we'll take like a little spatula and get the chipotle out of there into our Pyrex measuring cup. Yeah! This is a single batch, and it probably took 20 to 30 seconds of mixing. Exactly. And we've got the finished product, so... Magic sauce. That basically equals about a cup of aioli. Yep. And it lasts depending on how quickly it takes you to eat it. But as far as expiration goes, we'll have Kristen talk about that while I put it into this fancy schmancy oh, put it jar in your right fancy here. Fancy little mason jar. So if you are using any sort of fresh herbs in your aioli, say like fresh garlic, then it's going to last up to a week in a sealed container in your fridge. But if you are using all dried herbs, like we use dried garlic, then it will last as long as your egg is good for it. And how do you know when your egg expires? Look it up. Look on the box. <laughs> there you go. Look on the carton. That's <laughs> so, what I was looking for. <laughs> so basically, look on the carton. If your egg is good for three weeks, you know your aioli is good for three weeks. Yep. But we're going to go ahead and bet that it doesn't last that long because you're really, really gonna like it. That's why we're making a double batch every single week. Yeah, so this is a single, but we always make a double. Yeah, right? exactly. Give me an example of breakfast. How would you use this? Yeah, I mean, you could have it with eggs and bacon. You could have good it with a breakfast eggs. sandwich. Okay, lunch. Salad with real salad chicken dressing. on top. Best salad dressing <laughs> ever. It's and his dinner. favorite. Dinner. Absolutely, yeah. What about dinner? Oh, for dinner. Um, one thing we do all the time is we cook up salmon, we'll do some white rice, some roasted veggies. 
Chipotle aioli. Because it makes, even when you're thinking of eating healthy, a lot of people are still thinking like chicken and broccoli, which sounds so boring. But if you add something like this, it takes it to a whole new level. We love it. Super high fat, super good for you. This is a gift from us to you. We wish you could taste it, really. Maybe they will. It's so good. If you try Once it. it hits your lips, it's so good. <laughs> And then the great news is too, is like Kristen was saying, if you enjoy this, then you can take the basic mayo aioli and you can end up making ranch with it. Ranch and jalapeno ranch that she makes is That's another, another thing, one of my favorites. Yeah. It's definitely something that we can share. Totally, get creative so. with the spices in your cabinets and just try mixing a little bit at a time, tasting it, see what you think. Yep, healthy eating doesn't have to be difficult. We're here to show you that that is in fact true. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Oh, yeah. Thanks for sticking around. That was a fun and easy one. Right? Thanks for hanging out with us. All right, you guys. Enjoy your Chipotle aioli. Boom. Peace. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's how we count now. <laughs> Do that one more time. Ready? Yeah.